You know, I think dragging and swiping might be the most common human gesture in the last decade. Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna learn how to create this cool dragging, swiping, carousel interaction in Figma. This tutorial was suggested by BC Ahaya. I hope I got your name right. If there's any topic you'd like me to cover, then please leave a comment down below and I promise I'll try to make a video about it. Okay, let's dive right in. So I have this Disney Plus home screen interface and on top I have this movie carousel. Now, if I click on Command Y, I'll go into the outline view and I can see I have a few more movies here to the left and to the right. To create our drag or swipe interaction, we need to duplicate our frame. But first, let's add guidelines to our first frame so it'll be easier for us to position the movie cards while we make adjustments. If you don't see these rules on your screen, just toggle the Shift R keys and that will bring up the rulers. So let's drag two guides from the top and two from the left, just like that. Now we can select our frame and hit on Command D to duplicate it. The next step is to select our movie cards, drag them to the left and align them according to the guidelines. The option of using the outline view is really helpful because we can see exactly what we're doing with the layers that are not visible on our frame. So the one in the center should be bigger and the one that moved to the right should be smaller. Perfect. To take this to the next level, I like us to also take into consideration the small dots here that helps the user to understand exactly what's going on while he's swiping. Now, those dots are made by a rectangle shape with rounded corners all the way to an oval shape. I made it that way so I can stretch each and every one of them if I need to. So let's make the middle one smaller, 4x4 four four pixels and the left one bigger, 4x24 pixels, and apply the right color to each one. Let's duplicate it three more times and make the necessary adjustments to each frame. I'll speed this up. Great, so we have a total of five frames for each movie card. Cool, and now my favorite part, let's prototype it. Anytime we're prototyping, we have to ask ourselves three questions. Which object, what is the interaction, and what should be the final result? So in our case, the objects are these movie cards, but it could be buttons, icons, menus, and so on and so on. The interaction in this case is swipe or drag, but it could also be click, double click, hold, hover, and more. And finally, the result, which is pretty obvious, we would like to move on to the next movie card. After we figure that out, the process should be simple. So I'm going to click on the prototype tab and select my object, which is the movie card, and drag that plus icon to the second frame. In the interaction details, I'll select on drag, change the animation to smart animate, ease in and out, and now I'm going to do the same from the second frame. I drag the plus icon from the middle movie card to the third frame, I change the gesture from on tap to on drag, and I leave the animation as is because thanks to Figma, the application remembers the last interaction we made. Now, if you need to drag both ways, left and right, no problem. Like in this case, I'll select the movie card again and drag the plus icon the other way around to create that carousel. Once we're done, let's click on that play button to preview it, and will you look at that? amazing drag animation and also take a close look at the indicator below. Mm, yes! I hope you pumped as I am. Alright, thanks again to Bishi Yahaya for asking for this video. If you'd like to see how I made this Disney Plus application, I'll drop the link to the video down below. Don't forget to follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. like my my new glasses I think they're pretty okay <laughs>